Trish, what's going on tonight? We've got a 20 minute live painting competition. We have 12 local artists. Our battle happens every month. It's a great event. <laughs> What is up you guys? We are here at Houston Street over at Art Battle at the Spice Factory. Uh, we're about to check it out. I uh, don't know who's here yet, but uh, let's go see what's going on. So uh, here we are with Kaylin right now, who's uh, running the booth. Kaylin, how are you feeling tonight? Good, getting a good crowd. It's going to be a good night. Uh, yeah, super excited as always. And what's it to get in? Uh, 20 bucks to get in, uh, 15 if you're a student. Um, you can buy tickets online ahead of time, or uh, we always have some at the door. This is a blank canvas that will be a painted canvas shortly from Ashley Huff here. Don't know who you are, but uh, all, all the best luck on, on round one. We have Bar Baravi Jathar. And then this is probably Angel, obviously. I don't know if it's Angela Godden, which we'll see eventually, or if this is a different Angel, but also best of luck to you as well. Oh, Ashley Huff is so first up on the easel oh, here. Uh, she there. looks confident with her glass oh, in her hand. She's probably really excited. Here we go, here's Robbie. You guys do her birthday, come on. Oh, it's her birthday. It's her birthday today. Give it up for Angel! Oh. Oh, it, it is Angela Godin. I haven't seen her for like probably like a couple months, so I should probably say hi to her. I haven't seen you in forever. I know, I haven't seen you for months. What are you going to paint today? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> Perfect. I'm excited for it. Two, one, and they're off. Okay. Alright guys, so we're, we're down to the last little bit of the round one. Um, let's find out what certain people think about certain pieces of artwork. What's your favorite piece of art right now? Oh boy, I couldn't tell you. They're so different. They're so different from each other. Each, each artist has their own technique, their own style. I haven't, I haven't seen what happened since I've been around. I've been slowly going around the tornado. And last time I saw the painting, it could be totally different than what I, what I see now. Artist, this is your one minute warning. Okay, bird in the boat. Here, I'll get down so people can see. Angel's still killing it. She's got this bird going on. Or actually, it's a flower. It's not a bird anymore. She turned it into a flower. And a bumblebee is in the picture, too. First round is over. I think right now we're going to be going into the voting phase. Leave a comment on who your favorite painting is. So Susan is up for round two, first contestant up. They just listed a whole bunch of stuff that she's accomplished and done, and I, I missed all of it and I forget it right now. Okay, here's Quinn Carter right behind me. So that's him, there's Quinn. He's originally from England, and he has an accent. Oh, and it's his very first art battle. We have Jolene Galante, give it up for Jolene. Where's Jolene? Jolene came in from Milton oh. today. This is her maybe fourth art battle. Number four. She was at our art battle in Burlington for the very first time. She was one of our wild card painters, and then she proceeded to paint in Hamilton, St. Catharines, <laughs> Bramford, and now she's yeah. back in Hamilton. This is Paul's first art battle okay. as well. So this is Paul Kennedy, and to our right, there's Maddie who came here from Oakville. How are you feeling, Maddie? Fantastic. Yeah, are you nervous? Yeah, of course, but excited. Yeah? Yeah, of course. How long have you been doing this? Our battle like four years ago was the first in painting since like sixth grade. Well, we're stoked to see what you make. Thank you. I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. Three, two, up, up. Here we go. Let's get the circle moving.
the circle has stopped. The circle is good for probably the first minute, and then the circle stops and people stop moving around, looking at the art. So we're gonna try to encourage people to keep up the circle, I think, because uh, it's good to see everyone's artwork from start to finish, and the circles really help accommodate that. So let's go see uh, how people are doing over here. Who are you voting for? My dad. Who's your dad? John Sterling. John Sterling. Yeah. Who are you voting for? Um, I think that abstract landscape kind of thing. John Sterling? Yeah. Who are you voting for? That was tough. Uh, I threw it in for uh, John Sterling. Oh, <laughs> John really, Sterling. Really nice style. I do like uh, Quinn's work, though. All right, who did you vote for? Uh, Madeline. Do you know Madeline personally? No, but she's from Oakville, and so am I. So, Sick. I, you know, I gotta represent Oakville, but also, like, it's really nice, just the brush strokes and everything. How do you feel? Uh, I you know, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Um, the complete opposite of what I wanted. Everything that you planned will not work, and you're just gonna have to wing it. So who did you end up voting for? Uh, I ended up voting for Quinn. I voted for the Quinn. Quinn. I voted for okay. Quinn. Quinn, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm hopeful, but a little anxious. I'm, I'm just not used to this competition stuff, that's all. Do you have an idea going into the third round what you want to do? I really didn't expect to go through, so uh, I'm still working it out right now as we speak. Who did you guys vote for? Who did you vote for? I haven't yet. I forget his name. John Sterling? John! Yeah! Okay, look at How that. Did you know? How did you know that? That's uh, wild. I, I guess. So, uh, looks like John Sterling is getting quite a bit of votes. Oh, right. Susan, how was uh, your round? It was good. I, I really, uh, it went by much quicker than I expected. <laughs> All right. Final round, round three. Quinn is starting with a nice white. Everyone's starting with white as a base. I didn't know people did that. I'm finding out right now. I didn't know that they started off with white all the time. I, I don't know what the deal is. Or just like a wet paintbrush. Like no paint at all, just just a wet paintbrush. And then take the win. <laughs> so Anthony, uh, we're in round three. How are people usually feeling right now? Pressure. Yeah? Yeah. If you're in the third round, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling it, and I'm not even in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets tense. Okay, so the girl that made the elephant last time is making a beautiful puppy rabbit. It looks like a rabbit or a dog. I don't know. So is this animal a, a puppy no, or a don't rabbit? don't start that, please. It's been going on for half an hour. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I started off with a bunny. I switched to dog. Now I'm back to bunny, but I'm not sure anymore. I thought it was a bunny at first, but now it might be a puppy. Is it a rabbit or a puppy? It's whatever you want it to be. It's, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. It's a bunny? Yeah. It was a close competition. Winner of the $100 cash prize. Winner of $100 cash prize. Robbie? All right. Oh, this person. Congratulations. She's the winner of our $100 cash prize and now is going to be competing in July in the Hamilton Finals. Oh, it's her birthday too. I forgot. She just won money on her birthday. All right. Clap to that. Thank you so much. Oh, she was like the actual winner. I thought that was third place. <laughs> okay, so congratulations to her. We're, we're done. This is it. This is our battle in Hamilton and uh, another one next month. So come out to that if you missed out this one. And uh, I guess I guess that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, the, the person who won is, is a little bit shy, so we're not going to ask her about how she feels. She probably feels really great. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all the Evan Show for this week. Uh, tune in next time I decide to post a video. And uh, as always, pursue what you love and stay minty. My birthday's coming up.
up? My birthday's coming up. Are you an Aries? Yes. Oh, yes. No wonder. <laughs>